What's going on everybody, Koiku here. Just wanna let you know that today's video is actually gonna be divided into two parts, two videos. Don't worry, it's gonna be released on the same day or each video is gonna be released on the same day today as we are celebrating one month of the Windows 11 preview. So let's jump in. Windows 11 beta ironically came out exactly one month ago. So in this video, here are my thoughts on what I think about it so far. What's going on everybody, Kwaku here. Let's start with what I hate. I've written a list here down below me on this tablet. So let's go into it. So for starters, what I hate about Windows 11 so far, and again, take note with all these things I like and what I hate, because it is only in its third or fourth beta currently, uh, beta version, a lot of things could change before we actually get released towards the end of the year. So what I hate, the first thing I hate is the unmovable default icons. And by that, I mean the start menu button, the task view, the uh, the widgets, the chat app that you know is out in preview for people all those icons that they introduced that are going to be like built in baked into the os all of those things are not movable for some reason and for some reason the only thing that is movable is the store which is weird because it is also built in but all those things are not movable and to me it doesn't make any sense because you should be able to at least rearrange your taskbar however you feel that's just on me but that's kind of an annoyance another thing here is the non-resizable start menu one of the annoying things uh, or actually one of the great things that i liked about windows 10 was that the start menu i have a 49 inch super ultra wide display with a resolution of 5120 by 1440 and one of the things that I love to do was I could stretch the start menu as much as I want or shrink it as much as I want. And if you have a very small display, I noticed that if you set your resolution to 1920 by 1080, which is what a lot of people have, and your scaling is just a recommended, the start menu takes up like most of your screen and uh, you should be able to resize it, just drag it and resize it. I know it doesn't have tiles anymore, so there's no point in resizing, but I still like to have my start menu be resized. Let's say you only want like six applications to click on instead of like the bunch that are there. I just kind of want that little extra oomph to be able to resize my start menu. And I've said it before. Another thing was the indistinguishable start menu apps. And by that, I pretty much mean those placeholder applications like PixArt and some other things. Those apps, when I first installed Windows 11, the preview, I thought those were pre-installed and then I clicked on it and it took me to the store and it said, do you want to install it now? Which was strange to me because when you look at them, they look like they're already installed and you can't tell whether or not they're kind of like ads for the app. You can't tell there's no asterisks. There's no nothing next to them. You can't tell that they're installed or not. It's kind of really annoying because there's a bunch of apps that uh, Microsoft decided to throw in as kind of like advertisements and, um, it's just annoying to see those there because I don't know whether they're installed. Candy Crush is one of them. It was also in Windows 10, but in Windows 10, we could tell which apps were not installed, which apps were needing to be installed. Um, you can't tell which ones are installed. Um, another thing too is that right clicking on the taskbar has no options. So right now in the current release of Windows 11, I think it's build 22,100.100. Um, when you right click the taskbar anywhere other than on icons, you only get taskbar settings as on that context menu before we got the whole power user. Well, we didn't really get the power user menu, but we got some extra options on top of taskbar settings. I understand not including all of the options that are that were there in the previous versions, but just adding like task manager is one of the main things that I always clicked on. I know you can go right click the start button and get the same things, but I still kind of want it so that I click anywhere on the taskbar and I can at least get to the task manager that way. Um, another thing too is uh, setting shortcuts don't go to intended screens. And by that, I mean, there's a number of things and I talked about it in one of my previous videos that I'll link in the description. Um, when you right click things like display settings and a bunch of stuff, and this is as of the current build, build 22,000, I believe it's 0.100. Um, Pretty much all the settings that you want to go to, you right click your, your desktop background, 
and you go to display settings it doesn't go to display settings it goes to personalization um, when you click on your taskbar settings it doesn't go to taskbar settings it goes to the default general uh, settings page when you first click on the settings application things don't go to their intended destination and it's very annoying and frustrating because then I have to then hunt and look for it or I have to search it in the taskbar or in the in the settings app itself the annoying thing with that also is that the way that you get straight into those settings is if you already have settings open and then you try that same thing again um, another thing here for what I hate the last thing is the divided action center now a lot of these things like I said can change and I doubt this will change specifically I, I think I have a thought process of why they decided to make the moves with this but they've grouped together the notifications with the date and time and they've grouped together the sound settings with your Wi-Fi area and when you click on either of those two things the date and time you get your action sensor that has your notifications essentially notification sensor and then when you click on your sound and internet part of your taskbar you get your quick quick settings and things like that I'm just I was just used to how Windows 10 was uh, with that whole everything was together when you have action center it's where you do all your like your shortcut actions um, obviously this is probably just preference for this but that was just how how I feel about it